So, you know, now I want to kind of have us think backwards. Suppose we're given facts about the, the graph of a parabola. Can we actually find the equation for that parabola? And the answer is, with all the wonderful work and the ideas we've been putting together, we can. We can actually just take a couple of little snippets, a couple of little facts about the picture without even seeing the picture, and we can actually write down exactly the formula, exactly the function that describes that parabola. Check it out. Let's find the equation for the parabola that passes through the point negative 3 comma negative 4 and has a vertex of negative 6 comma 5. Okay, so now how are we going to proceed here? Well, there's a couple things that we can do. First of all, I want to remind you of one of the ways of writing parabolas. Namely, we can write it as a coefficient a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where the h and the k, h comma k, represent the coordinates for the vertex. So in fact, we immediately know, if we use this form, that the h is going to be negative 6 and the k is going to be 5. Perfect. The only thing we don't know is the a. Hmm, tricky. But let's not worry about that right now. Let's first of all just celebrate what we know. And what we know is that f of x equals a times x minus negative 6 squared plus 5, which I'm going to simplify that a little teeny bit if you'll allow me. That's just a times, well, x minus a negative, that's just x plus 6 squared plus 5. That's where we are. Okay, if we could just find a, then we're done, because then we'd have the formula. Well, we haven't used the fact that the parabola passes through the point negative 3 comma negative 4. What does that mean? It means that when x equals negative 3, y has to be 4. Or to write it fancy, we know that f of negative 3 is equal to negative 4. If x equals negative 3, the answer is going to be negative 4. If I plug in negative 3 for x, and I know that the answer is going to equal negative 4, I can now solve for a. Check it out. I'm going to do it right now. So what happens when I plug in negative 3? I get a, the mysterious quantity, negative 3 plus 6 all squared plus 5, and that has to equal the function, the y value, which is negative 4. Well, now I'm in good shape because now everything is known except a, so I can actually solve this. Let me just first fix this thing up. That's actually going to be a negative 3 plus 6 is just 3, and 3 squared is 9. I'm going to even do it in my head. I'm such a show-off. So I've got 9a. Look at me go. 9a plus 5 equals negative 4, and we can solve this. Subtract 5 from both sides, and I see that 9a is equal to negative 9. Divide both sides by 9. You can't help yourself. a equals negative 1. So come back, and I see that the formula is f of x equals a, which is negative 1, I'll just put a negative sign, times x plus 6 squared plus 5. So that's, that describes exactly the parabola. But suppose we wanted to see this in general form. All we have to do for general form is just to kind of foil that out, expand that out a little bit, make it all pretty. So if we want to do that, here's what we would get. f of x equals, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to now just expand that. And x times x is x squared. My inner terms are going to be 6x. My outer terms are 6x. That's 12x. And then the last times the last is plus 36 and then plus 5. Now don't forget, you've got to distribute that negative sign all the way across. It's so easy to forget that classic mistake. But you won't make that because you're so awesome hate you, you're so good. It's minus x squared, and then a minus 12x, and then I'm going to have a negative 36 plus 5 is negative 31. And that represents the general form of this parabola, and all we were given is a point that it contains and, in fact, its vertex. Armed with just those two things, we were able to nail down the exact formula. You can't hide from us, parabola. You just give me a vertex and one other point on there, and I've nailed you to the wall. Anyway, have fun thinking about parabolas, their graphs, and the connection between the two. I'll see you soon.